Yes, Virginia, there is a raceway. <sighs> All right, VIR. This one vexes me. It vexes me so. I was able to get a 147, 969. I think the fast guys are going to be doing like 46s, maybe 45s. I don't know. Um, this is one of those ones where I... It's just like brands where I feel like I get it down in practice. And then it just... it just <laughs> They don't go well for me. Um, we'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll, I, I think I did very well with the practice here. I think I can get, can get a good lap. So I'll show you the fast lap. We'll talk about uh, how we did it, or we'll walk through how we did it, and then uh, I'll come back for some for some final thoughts. That lap was at one forty eight point four five. Sector three is zero point two eight. Slower than your best. Last lap time was at 148.00. Sector 3 is a tenth off your best. All right, Virginia International Raceway, Porsche Cup fixed. Haven't touched a brake bias or anything like that. Let's go through how we did it. I uh, got us a 147.969. Forgot to say that. All right, uh, flat out, start, finish straight. Uh, you guys know that. My first breaking point's a little bit before the three here. And I think I stuffed this uh, first corner up a little bit um, on this lap, but it's, you know, it's still my best lap. So we're gonna go with it. I hit the brakes a little bit before the three. I think I, I, think I just over slow a little bit through here is uh, what happened. It's really easy to ask uh, too much rotation on this corner and spin out. Or miss your breaking point and just go off into nowhere. Uh, don't do that. Um, just if, if you're if it's really easy to get out of the rhythm here and just be careful. Uh, but we're just easing off the brakes as we approach the corner. Just want to keep that little bit of brake pressure on so we can get the grip on the front wheels and turn in as we go around. It's a lot of wheel here. This is why part of why it's easy to to spin the car. But we are putting the throttle down part way, and then as we unwind, we're gonna give it the rest of the beans. And coming around this corner here, which is still kind of part of turn one. Um, occasionally, I have to lift. I don't know. If, yeah, so we lift a little bit here. If I feel like sometimes I can do it flat out through here, but. Uh, the grip was a little not there so just a tiny little little let go of the throttle helped fix it we're pulling over back over to the right we want to get on the right here uh don't need to come out all the way but we want to get over a little bit so we can turn in here 
And we're just going to keep going uh, flat out. We're we'll start to lift a smidge. I think that's me chickening it out. Um, but we do want to hit brakes kind of halfway through this little bit of curbing here. So it ends right there. So about halfway. We're going to start hitting the brakes. And it's not a heavy brake. It's just that we got we to gotta kind of break through this whole shebang here. Get the car turning back in. Again, we don't need to come out all the way over here. Um, I probably come out just a bit further than I really need to, if I'm being honest. But we're just going to hold that tiny bit of brake pressure. Get the car turning, pointing the right direction. Once we start getting the car pointing the right direction, we're going to get the throttle on. Part way. And then we're going to get the rest of the throttle down. It's getting that car pointed in the right direction. Helps us get the throttle down sooner. But our next breaking point is kind of where this uh, smooth bit of uh, concrete starts here. I guess I'm already thinking about it in my head. But we're just going to hit the brakes pretty decently. And turn in. Just hold that little bit of brake pressure just so we can turn in. And this whole, this is one of the... Uh, more complicated sections. I wasn't having too much trouble with it for some of my laps, but some of them it was really hard. Anyway, we're once we once we once we kind of ah, slow down. <laughs> once we get uh, the car turned in, we're gonna start putting on the throttle a little bit, and then open up the wheel. Rest of the throttle, and this whole this whole bit's are tricky. We gotta lift. And coast, and then we put a little bit of throttle back in. This just takes a lot of practice. This was my best lap. Um, and then I'm going to short shift at some point here. Uh, lifting up a little bit just so we can get the car pointed in the right direction. There we go. I shifted. And just the rest of the throttle. And then we want to keep pointing. We want to... So, my instinct is to like start opening up the wheel here which is not really what we want to do we want to keep it pointed in because the track goes this way right it like, like it it feels like it does it feels like there's like a bunch of these s's but it's really going to the right here so just keep keep turning to the right and we lift up so we don't clip if we hit the grass it's just like a one second slowdown same with the next corner we don't want to do that just ease up, then we go full throttle again. Again, don't want to hit the grass, just the curb. Just full throttle through here. And it's really scary. And then it's just full throttle the rest of the way through all this stuff. Then as we approach this, this is the corner that gave me the most trouble tonight, I think. There's a bunch that gave me trouble, but I think this is the number one culprit we're gonna lift turn it into here and like it doesn't need to be a full lift i just i did a full lift it's easier for me and we're just gonna bring the throttle back just part way downshift into fifth and just kind of around here we want it like halfway through this little part once it's leveled off like after the hill like about halfway through we want to start hitting the brakes and we're going to get down to fourth for this corner here. Just ease on the brakes. Get that car turning in. Trail brake. Hold that little bit of brake pressure. And then we can start putting the throttle down. And this is so sketchy. But we make it through. And then we're looking at between the three and the two up ahead is going to be our next braking point. And this is the probably the second toughest corner. Oh, well, maybe third. Anyhow, we're hitting the brakes. We're just like slowly hitting the brakes. So we want to we want to break through this whole mess. The oak tree used to be here, but it got hit by lightning and they took it down. Um, so just holding that brake pressure, about fifty percent. I think we peaked that there, but we're just gonna slowly downshift. So third, and then we get up here. We're, we're easing off the brakes. 
Around here, we're gonna go to second. There we go, second. It's still holding a tiny bit of brake pressure. And then we're just coasting. And we have to get back on the brakes to get the turn in going for this corner here. Get the car pointed in the right direction. That's so much wheel. And then we can start putting on the throttle. But not all the way yet until we open up that wheel. Gotta imagine, imagine that the, there's the connection between the, the, that string between the pedals and the wheel. We don't want to snap it. So we've got, as we, as we lessen one input, we can increase the other, but if we have increased both at the same time, it's going to snap, right? That's what we got to think about. And it's just full throttle through here. And our next breaking point is going to be around the three. A little bit before. And we start hitting the brakes. Pretty, pretty decent on the brakes here. Going uphill is going to help us with the braking for now until it, the uphill goes away and it becomes downhill. We're going to go down to second eventually uh, for this corner, but we're in third right now. Just easing off the brakes. Hold that little bit of pressure. Now we can start letting off more as we get to second and start turning into the right. And then we're just going to do our trail braking. Just hold that little bit of pressure. And now we can put the throttle back in. Point the car back straight as we aim for this bit here. And full throttle. We're going to have to lift partway through here. As we come around, we're just going to lift a little bit. And then we can put it the rest of the way down again. Then it's full throttle until we get to right around this curbing here. And then we're just going to ease on... Well, I guess I lifted a little sooner. And we're going to ease on the brakes through this section. Again, this is one of those ones where it deceives you and makes, or deceives me, and makes me want to get on the throttle sooner. Like, I want to get on the throttle now, as you can see. Um, and just go full throttle through here. Like, it, it feels like we should be able to just use this whole curve and just go full throttle. We can't. So just use a, I mean, you can, you'll end up, like, barely holding on on the outside, I think, is what happens to me when I do that. But we're just partial throttle. Having that that brake all the way out to here, and honestly, like probably should have held the brakes and waited till about here, but that was a little early. Anyhow, just partial throttle, get the car turned in, try and keep it pointed towards so we get this apex here, and we get full throttle as we straighten out as we're gonna make it. We can just do a full throttle through there at that point. Just for that corner, my my cue to myself is just, you know, you gotta be patient and wait to get on the full throttle for that that final corner there, which is another a tough one. They're all tough corners here. But uh, with that, we were able to get a 147.969 here at VIR. So yeah, like I said, VIR vexes me I, I i just i always seem to get and not have bad races here it doesn't matter the car uh i just it it i don't know i don't know what it is but uh but yeah it's it's struggle time when we when we go here i think i think part of it is the big turnouts it gets a lot of turnouts um and oh it's just it, it's easy to make a mistake and when you make a mistake it's it's pretty devastating i guess is the whole thing i can get a good lap but my consistency isn't there on this track so i'm just hoping that i can pull it together and be consistent um with some times i it's, i think if i can stay in the high 48s i'll be okay but uh but we'll see if you want to watch along live head on over to twitch.tv uh slash the piltdown man if you want to see when we try that if you like the video thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down if you think i earned it hit the subscribe button we'll see you next time